All right, Ashley, do we want to ruin the surprise on where we're heading? Sure. I can tell you it's in Grand Floridian, and as you can tell by the background. So we are heading to a new place suggested in our comment section known as Narcozy's. So we're going to be checking out Narcozy's today and we'll let you know how it is. We'll bring you inside. So really nice sign. Very excited for here. We've heard good things about it. Never been here. Both big seafood people. So I'll show you a little bit of the outside. So we have reservations here. And just to give you an idea, soup to salad, entrees, enhancements, and let's go. This is a little entranceway. They have a little kitchen. These little things up here, a couple of woods. So if you look over here, a couple little floral places, small little waiting area. Fun fact, out here is where you can wait to watch the fireworks if you are here during firework hours. So they have this little sign that it is closed. But really cool, good kind of view, so you can move all the way over there. Just to show you, there is actually some really fancy restrooms as well. So you have ladies and gentlemen. Because they have a Finding Nemo, or Finding Nemo inspired. Uh, little display, so really cool. They have these fish, in, these kind of boats up here as well, so really cool theming. So a quick little look at the menu. So Ashley, what looks good? What looks good to you? So me and you are probably gonna end up getting the serpent turf, if it's an option. I know we saw it online. I don't know if it really is. So it is still there. Working through here. You have some champagne cocktails. Oh, so they have a lot more cocktails than what they had online. And specialty beers and ciders. They have some brew just in Florida. They even have some wine, uh, wine flights. Unfortunately, Ashley forgot her ID today but they have a family of wines. Yeah, they have a lot of wines here. A ton of stuff in this menu. I think half of it's food, half of it's alcohol. So yeah, and that does it. Nice little setup over here, right by the water itself. All right, so there's a little interim. I'm either going between the mango mojito and the sidecar. I guess we'll figure out what I'm gonna dump with. Oh, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the scenery. That's what your setup's gonna look like. That's your scenery. Nice little wooden ceiling. And fun fact, these do not actually come down, the little shutters. We just asked our waitress, she noticed us talking about them. They don't come down. They also have a little safety restraint, so they don't come down. And then shutters will come down though. Or not the shutters, but the little, yeah, those will come down though, so nice view. And we just ordered our drinks and we'll be on to Entrees. What we're getting, we are ending up with the serpent turf. Ashley's gonna get the lobster tail. I'm gonna end up with the pansier scallops, and she'll probably upgrade her steak to a filet mignon because she's not getting alcohol today. And then one other cool thing, they have a lot of different grades of temperatures as well. So something we don't really see very often at some of the places we eat. Give you an idea. This is our mango mojito. Sure. My mango mojito, because somebody forgot their ID, but. Be checking it out, let you know how it is. So, mango mojito, give you our thoughts on it, or my thoughts on it, sorry. You got your ID today. You've it like five times. Really good, I can taste everything in there. I would highly recommend this. Ashley, recommend Ashley it. recommended it, so I give her credit, but overall, out. fantastic drink. I give it a nine and a half out of 10, I'm really impressed. I usually don't like mojitos, but that mango kind of puts it over the top for me. So, check it out if you're here, it's about 14 bucks, and. We're gonna have a little bit more going because unfortunately since Ash is not drinking, I gotta make up for her, I guess. So we'll bring you in when we get our entrees. Everybody knows we don't rate bread, but we do enjoy it anyway. So it's some warm sourdough. They give you some butter and they said Hawaiian, Hawaiian sea salt. Hawaiian sea salt. Hawaiian sea salt. So we'll check this out. It looks very good. It's nice and warm as well. So on to the, our entree soon. So here's my surf and turf. I got my sirloin. I have my onions, my mashed potatoes. You got some butter sauce and you might have my two scallops. So. I have my lobster, butter, carrots, onions, filet, and potatoes. I'm very excited. I'm going to be trying my lobster first. I'm very excited. Mmm. It's good? Mm-hmm. Lobster tail? Mm-hmm. So the lobster tail is really good. So as you can tell, Ashley has a surf and turf. Has the, you got filet mignon though. So mm -hmm. We get your lobster tail as well, with some butter. It's delicious. Very good? Very good. Can I get a rating on it? Uh, 
I want to give it a 10 out of 10. Onion, carrots, mashed potatoes, and some scallops with some butter. So we'll check this out. Let you know how it is. First up, scallops. Are you gonna check this it out with butter? some butter. Dunk it in some butter. Nice and buttery. Really good. Try some of the sirloin. Mashed potatoes. And last but not least, the one thing I didn't cut today, carrots. So, really good portion size here. I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. Really impressed by the scallops. I've had my California grill. I didn't think they were this good. These are really good. Serving turf overall, really good. You get the meat, you get the fish, veggies, mashed potatoes. Definitely recommend here. Not that bad either. It's about $54 a piece, but for a serving turf, that's about what you're gonna pay. So yeah, I think me and Ashley are gonna get a dessert and we'll get back to you on that. All right, so as you can tell, on to the second drink, we tried out the sidecar here. So there's a little bit of vodka, a little bit of tropical juice in it as well. We'll try it out, we'll see how it is. And by tropical juice, I mean lemonade, as Ashley pointed out. Thanks. A little strong. I'd say eight out of 10, very strong actually. I already have a clean plate. Alex over there is still working on his, but mine's clean. Clean plate, plate club. They've already taken my plate. They've already taken yours, but very good here. As you can tell, 10 out of 10. The desserts, me and Ashley are probably gonna go with the almond crusted cheesecake, was highly recommended by our waitress. I'm just and we also are looking at the candy bar as well. So those are it. They have dessert martinis, and they also have some after dinner beverages, non alcoholic as well. Specialty teas, which Ashley will probably get. And they have the arrows tea, and then they also just have some alcoholic beverages at the bottom. So, when they're probably getting a cheesecake, I'll probably end up with the Narcuzzi's nut, Nutcracker, and Ash is gonna get her arrows tea. All right, so drinks are here. So, this is my Narcuzzi Nutcracker. Ashley has her French press with her arrows tea Same that was poured. Very cool. So, our waitress pressed it down, and the tea is ready. It even comes with the honey. We have the Narcuzzi Nutcracker right here. As you can tell, it is whipped cream. There is a little bit of, do you remember what else was in here? There's some Kahlua, there is some Bailey's, Bailey's Irish, Irish cream. Yeah, there's a couple, like yeah. there's a couple different things in here and a vodka. It's like a nut, I think, taste vodka. So we'll check it out. I'll let you know how it is. Let's go. Let's take another sip, that was actually really good. So it's very good. It reminds me actually of coffee because it has that clue in it. It's very coffee taste. The cream on the top is awesome. I would say fantastic. Give it a nine out of 10 on this drink. Very awesome kind of dessert drink. Will go well with our cheesecake. So bring it over to Ashley, let you know how her Eros pressed fancy French press tea is and serves on the way. So this is my tea cup. We have our cheesecake. You have a nice little white chocolate, dark chocolate piece in it. You have some, what's on your side? Those are cherries. We have some cherries on her side. There's an almond with the whipped cream. There's also some cherries, some dark chocolate, some white chocolate as well. So this looks fantastic. Me and Ashley both have plates to share. You must be so excited for your cheesecake. Let's go. We're gonna get Ashley's thoughts on our cheesecake, almond cheesecake. Get a little bit of everything. Let us know what you think. Consistency seems good. I just ran it through the cherry sauce. Cherry sauce. All right, moment of truth. How is it? Fantastic. Can you give me an idea of the rating of it? Ten, nine. Uh, I was hoping for a 10 out of everything, but very good. So you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you can tell, I'm gonna go take my cheesecake. And I will let you know how it is. Ooh, that is a different. So it's got like almonds all the way on the outside, just to give you an idea. Very different. I'm gonna dip it through both. I'm gonna take some cherries with me. So, cheesecake piece right here. We have it well garnished. We have the cherries, we have the whipped cream, and we have the cheesecake. So I'll let you know how this is, give you our, an idea of my rating. Ash's was a 9 out of 10. We'll see what mine is. If you couldn't tell, even our waitress even said they haven't taken it off the menu because it's just so good. 9.5 out of 10 easily. Love it definitely would recommend here we'll give you our final thoughts at the end but cheesecake's definitely worth it our dessert, our meals were definitely worth it as well so we'll wrap up here at narcuzzi's and give you our final thoughts we finished it Delicious. everything's going fantastic cheesecake fantastic experience here stay tuned for our final thoughts 
All right, so thanks so much for watching, guys. As you can tell, we got it back to the room in Grand Floridian. So we are staying in an outer building room, but aside from that, we just wrapped up Narcuzzi. As you could tell, we initially did it because we knew we were going to be at Grand Floridian. That was one of the kind of the suggested ones that we also yes. had in the video. So thank you so much for su suggesting that. It was something we were looking to get to, but definitely having that suggestion was great because it confirmed us to check out here. We want to go to Citros at some point, but yes. Narcuzzi's was definitely on the top of our list. So we checked it out. As you can tell, seafood was phenomenal. Was Both amazing. me and Ashley entrees, 10 amazing. out of 10. My scallops were fantastic. I thought all the sides with the scallops were fantastic. The meat was very good. I know you had filet. The lobster I got was um, butter poached lobster. They give you an option between butter poached or steamed. And you had butter poached? Butter poached. And it was good? Yeah, I was going to say, even the butter with the scallops was fantastic. So they just give you like a little kind of small, it's like a plastic little you, cup yeah. of it, of I don't think butter. it's plastic. I think it's a glass ceramic. It's a glass ceramic cup of um, butter. But you gave me one of your scallops and it just melted in your mouth. It was good. The like, quality of the scallops was fantastic. And as you can tell, it's surf and turf, so you also have the meat. The meat was very good for a sirloin. I didn't get the filet mignon like Ashley. Oh my God, it was delicious. But that was still filet. fantastic. Cooked perfectly to what I would have expected. The sides were awesome as well. And then aside from that dessert, Cheesecake was fantastic. As you can tell, I had a little snippet of the video where our waitress was like, this is the best we've had on our menu forever. She's been there for 10 years, She's been there for and 10 they years. haven't changed it. And she said that if they ever changed it, there, there would be, be riots. riots. But it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Just the whole experience of Thank the God. cherries, the whipped cream all together with that cheesecake made it fantastic. Like I said, I think I put it a nine or a nine and a half, only because I feel like it could have been a little better, but it was fantastic for a cheesecake. I mean, you don't want to give everything a 10 out of 10 because I yeah. want you guys to have a fair review that there is a little bit of room to make it better. Highly would recommend checking it out, even if you're not staying here or if you're staying in any of the neighboring. It's yeah. worth checking out. I would consider it a hidden gem. Definitely on our top five list oh my now. my God. It would be in my top three. Top three. Okay. Even better. Easily. It's, it's something that one day I want to take my parents to. That's how good it is. Because of the surf and turf. The surf yes. and turf is very good. Her parents would my, enjoy my, my parents family would enjoy used to it. have... Like during the summers, every once in a while, every surf few every house. few weeks would have surf and turf. So that would and be fantastic for them to perfect. check out. Please let us know any other suggestions for places you'd like us to check out. If it's a place we already have on the list, that's fantastic. It just lets us know that we're we're we have a good list we going. We should move right that now, one up. <laughs> that we need to move that up on the list in order. But yeah, thanks so much for your support for watching. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and hope you guys are having a great week this week as well. As always, I am Alex, as <laughs> Ashley's trying to hint. This I is, am Ashley. And this is Disney's Party, Party of Two. two.